I'm going to show you how to fix this calibration issue on these power supplies. 3646A, 3647, 3648 all work the same way. So I'm going to show you how to do this to go around. So these power supplies have a readback, so this voltage you see on display should be what's actually coming out of the unit. And if I, I've got my signal, six and a half digit multimeter, and that's really 19.975 volts. So it does agree with what's on the meter. Obviously it's wrong now, it should be doing 20 volts. All right, it should be a step for one volt from zero volts and get to 20, all right? So it's also in this case, it's not calibrated right. So I need to adjust that calibration. And it's actually fairly straightforward, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you start by turning the thing off, hold down the calibrate button and turn it on. Wait for it to beep. There we go, now can it go. In this case, it's actually secured. All right, so you can't just go straight into calibration mode, it's actually got security on. So first thing you need to do is put the code in. Now this particular, assuming it's a default, I don't know, I've purchased this and used. So I'm hoping it's got the default code in it. If it's not a default code, it might have a problem, but we'll see how we go. So let's try. And on a, on a 3646A, the code is 3646 as default. And the other models are the same model number, right? So put them, you put the model number in. Oh, helps if I actually put the right numbers in, doesn't it? That's a 6. 3646. View. Unsecured. Yes, it's the original default code. So now we can get into the calibration menu. So to get in the calibration menu, you have to power it off, hold down the calibrate button, turn the power on. Wait for it to beep. There you go, now you can let go. Unsecured now. Just now this was actually locked with a password, which I've, I've removed. So that's what you'd normally get if you go straight in um, without a password lock on it. Um, so you'll see either of those two I showed you before or this one. Anyway, you get cow mode. And now you can um, push the button and you choose what particular thing you want to calibrate. You can do the whole process or you can just um, do one particular function. Now in my case I know that the channel 2 go around, channel 2 voltage sensing is incorrect. Alright, so this is what I want to calibrate. So I'm going to adjust voltage 2. So push view again. Now what you do is you look at a multimeter, I've got this hooked up to my Siglant 6.5 digit multimeter and I'm looking at that screen there and that's seeing what voltage is coming out of this these jacks and you set this to what you see in the multimeter so I'm getting uh, a little bit less than what it says there Everything's still warming up, so it's not perfectly settled yet, so it's drifting very slightly. So it's still stabilising, obviously I've just turned this on as well, so. Right, so that's that one. Next one. I'm trying to get to 10 volts, it's doing 10.255. Yep. Next one. 18.5 is what I should be getting, I'm getting 19.09. Six. Okay. Low volts protection, that's an automatic thing it does inside. You don't have to do anything, it just does it. And once it's done that, it will prompt you to do a current calibration. Now I'm going to adjust currents right now. I'm just doing voltage calibration. Okay, I'm not going to do currents. Maybe I'll do it in a separate video if someone's interested. So now we can actually turn it off. We'll turn it back on again. We'll turn the output on. Channel 2, put it on high range. And we'll see what happens with the voltages. We'll see if we got it right. There you go, 20 volts, exactly. Bang on. And my signal meter is also agreeing with 20 volts. Exactly. So that is correct. If I do low range instead, I might have to zero it because it's swept salt around. So when I zero my salt over, so one volt to 
she got it to 8 volts exactly, yep, and the segment is agreeing. Let's have a look at channel 1, just to be absolutely sure it's definitely OK. Channel 1's currently low range 8 volts, we've got to 8 volts on there, so 801, so it's looking, if it is very slightly out there, maybe just a fraction, but I'm getting exactly 8 volts on the segment there. So I've got a high range. Wind this up as well. So yeah, okay, I'm very slightly out on this, so it's definitely calibrating. But that is saying 20.01 volts. Yeah, we will calibrate the channel one as well then. We'll do it. Okay. I'll show you that. Go through the process again, just do channel one. Channel one voltage. Is 0.3, we get 0.301. Next, 10 volts, get 10.98. A little bit of rounding going on there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it rounding down. It's sort of, it's about nine eight and a half or so. We'll see how it goes. We'll try it and see how it goes. Now we're getting 21.439 this one. Again, it's got a bit of rounding going on there. So we'll just see how that goes. So I'll do its calibrating thing again for that. For over voltage protection. And it'll prompt us to do current as well. Again, we're not going to do current this time. Okay, let's turn it off. Turn it on again. And we'll see what we get. I'll put on channel 1, we'll do high range straight away. And we'll see if it tracks. Looking better. 15, 20 yards, just flicking that last digit on there. It's better. You might need to tweak it very slightly. Yeah, it's almost right. So we'll look at that one again. Again, because of that rounding where the digits aren't quite um, perfect, so you have to left that rounding. Got one, three, one again. Ten point nine eight. I'm going to look at nine eight one this time. So I'm going to round upwards instead of downwards. And the same thing, I'm going to round upwards to the downwards. Okay, so you finish that. Then we'll reboot it and try again. Just, still just doing a little bit. Yeah, I might live with that. It's only barely doing it. But it is agreeing with what's on the segment, so, you know, I'm pretty happy with that, really. It's better than the last time. Very slightly better, because they're rounding up. I think it's close enough. It's only barely doing it. Okay, we'll look at channel 2 again just to be sure that's still stable after it's had a bit of settling time. Yep, 
yeah, it's doing the same thing, it's picking up very slightly. But it's to do with the, how you do the rounding versus the resolution of, of the of the unit itself. But it's looking really good there. I'm happy with that, it's good enough. I think 10 millivolts doesn't really matter anyway, really in most cases. So yeah, if you found that interesting, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and click the bell icon, share the video if you might be interested on it, and uh, have a comment down below too if you liked it or not. Or if there's anything specific you want to see, maybe you want to see me do the, calibra the current calibrations, and maybe I'll go and do another video on the current if people are interested in that one. A bit more involved, but still pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Did you know? Thank <laughs> you.